In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best routes against the meta defenses in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what my YouTube channel focuses on is we focus on tips and strategies that are designed to help you get better in Madden NFL 21. We post four of them a day here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe if you want to catch those tips. Also, we have a full offensive and defensive guide out. It's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. This guide, I'm telling you right now, is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't picked it up, you can pick it up in the description of this video. One of the guys that purchased it said it's the best $25 he has ever spent on a video game. So pick that up. One-time price, updates throughout the entire playbook. We're getting ready to drop a sweet update this week on it. So be sure to pick that up. If you haven't, it would mean the world to me. All right, so what we're going to do today is we are going to talk specifically about uh, the meta defense, and that is Dime, and it could be any of these, right? Dime 146, Dime 236, it could be Nickel 55. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the bottom line is it's man-to-man -man coverage, and man-to-man -man coverage is really hard to beat. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I want to show you specifically this shotgun bunch. Now, you're going to need a very specific thing. Now, if you're playing Mutt, it's a lot easier to come by. If you're playing Regs, it's not quite as easy. But basically what you want to have is you want to have a wide receiver that has 90 or above route running. So as you see here, DeAndre Hopkins has it. I'm first going to show you this route with a receiver that doesn't have 90 plus route running. And then I'm going to show you the route with a receiver that does have 90 plus deep route running. So uh, first and foremost, we're going to go over it with Andy Isabella. And the play that we're going to utilize is any kind of post route. I personally really, really like the bunch trail from the Atlanta uh, playbook that angled post where it's going over the top that's what you want to look for and to show this even better we're going to back the ball off here now again you can run this out of multiple formations multiple playbooks it doesn't have to be from gun bunch this just happens to be one of the plays that it can be from so what you're going to see them do is they're going to shade coverage outside shade coverage over top and then what they're going to do is they're going to basically put their deep safeties in purple zones and andy isabella on this play you're going to see that if you lob this up, because he doesn't have 90 deep route running, you see the corner is able to get back on the ball. Very, very easy to see animation. I mean, really not that challenging. I do want to show one thing for those of you guys that don't have 90 and above route running and can't get it. But basically what you'll see here is there's a window to throw the ball right here, but as the play kind of goes, the, the corner catches up. The corner catches up. So what you want to do, is if you don't have 90 and above deep route running and you still want to use this route, basically what I would recommend, if you if you smart route the route, it's going to go a little bit shallower. And as soon as he cuts the inside right there, you can click on and make a catch. This is challenging for sure, but if you want to use this route with a receiver that doesn't have 90 and above route running, that's what I would recommend doing, um, especially when you're facing the shade coverage over top meta. And if you low ball it, it's even a little bit more effective. Let's see if I can get a completion here real quick. But this, these purples, and, and one other thing real quick, make sure you put the running back on a wheel. Basically a post-flat combination to pull those curl flats away from it. And there you see you're able to get that ball kind of inside. Now what I want to do is I want to break this down with DeAndre Hopkins on the field. I want to show you, uh, we're going to put him on the field here. So this is a shotgun bunch. Again, we're in Atlanta playbook, but you don't have doesn't just have to be Atlanta. And you can use ATL cell as well, as well. It's a little bit of a different post. But let's go over this. Dime 146, cover two man. And this route is really probably, honestly, if I was, you know, this route is a nice one play touchdown against this. So 90 deep routing out route running. Now he's going up against Stephon Gilmore. Watch what happens here. So you see they both activate. Whoops, I'm sorry. You see that um, the route running is going to give DeAndre Hopkins a little bit more of an open window. So let me show you this one more time. You can get the ball up there. But what's going to happen is you'll see these corners are breaking. So all you're going to do, this is just a lob streak right over the top. Click on to Hopkins, and you're going to be able to click on and make that user catch. It's a lob post route. And the way click ons work this year, you can actually fit these in at a very, very high clip. So let me show you what happens on this. The 90 deep route running, now look at how much more space there is. I can throw it multiple points. I can throw it inside, but you'll see the 90 deep route running is going to allow him to get over the top. So literally the only change that we've made, we're running the same route with a different player, 
and with a better corner, and we're getting a different result. That's what's so interesting about the route running thresholds. If you can get 90 deep route running on your receivers, you are going to find a lot, lot more success at beating these defenses over the top, especially if they press coverage, especially if they press coverage. Let me show you what happens uh, when they press you because you will see some press coverage, especially bench press will be going away soon, but you will see some press coverage. If you press you, you're going to beat him absolutely, torch him over the top. Those animations that you're seeing where it looks like Stephon Gilmore's kind of there, but he's kind of not there, that's going to happen. I mean, that's very consistent uh, of an animation. What is basically your, your job is to click onto the receiver and basically go up and get it. As you see there, and that time Stephon Gilmore did get him a little bit. But if you have that 90 deep route running, and part of that also, part of that also is the fact that Stephon Gilmore does have the one step ahead ability um, attached to him. If he didn't have one step ahead ability, um, even he, you would be able to beat it even more so. Um, let me show you, let me show you this real quick. So Stephon Gilmore, with him having the one step ahead ability. This is something that allows allows him to keep up. When you're playing mutt, not as many people are going to be using that. And even if they are, you're going to have a little bit better speed than DeAndre Hopkins does have. So those are all factors that are going to play into this. But what I want to do real quick here is I just want to show you what happens if Stephon Gilmore is out of the picture. What happens if it's just a standard cornerback that doesn't have the one step ahead ability on top of everything else that we just talked about. So we're going to man line press, shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top to get the, so that we can't throw streaks. And what you'll see is DeAndre Hopkins is going to absolutely roast this corner. Just pass lead it straight up over the top, click on, and you're going to be beating this uh, corner. I'm going to show you this one more time here. But these this specific route, works really well now again real quick just so we're clear i can throw this ah, tag on. i can throw this ball right when he breaks um let me show you this real quick this route is one of those routes that does work a lot better in mutt i will say this but you can low ball right there click on and you can catch that that's what i'm trying to get at even if he has one step ahead you can play it as long as he has that 90 deep right running threshold Right. What we're running into a little bit is the fact that his speed is not is not top of the line speed, DeAndre Hopkins. So that is playing into it a little bit. But again, hard pass lead to the right. And you see there we're going to be able to dot up cover two man. So this is consistent with a lot of things. You'll find in bunch trail, if I motion Fitzgerald to the left here, this post route, these in-breaking patterns, this is this is kind of the key to beating man to man. These in-breaking patterns this year are very, very effective. Uh, literally, I mean, this is what I would recommend. Um, I would recommend almost running not two posts, but run a post on every play. I mean, it's literally at that point this year. If you want to beat man to man, slants, posts, crossers, those are the ways to do it. So one thing you can also do, like if I was setting up a man beater out of this formation right here, I would take circle, put him on a slant, put Fitzgerald on that little post, and then you got the trail route. This turns this into a really, really solid uh, man beater because slants just by nature do a decent job against man to man the post over the top is what i think is really powerful especially against like a cover two man stock if they run cover two man stock you can pass lead this and kyler murray just kills me i'm, I'm telling you what kyler murray is just one of the worst quarterbacks right now uh, just with the way his throwing animations work in the game he he per in real life is not a bad quarterback he's a great quarterback just the way he works in game but what you'll see here is this post to DeAndre Hopkins? If they're just in a standard cover two man defense where they're pressing and all that stuff, it's actually going to work even better. You're going to see here, um, I don't know why Devin McCourty or Jason McCourty is beating DeAndre Hopkins in press, but typically what's going to happen is DeAndre Hopkins is going to get that inside position, inside release. If he gets that inside release, it's wide open. I mean, literally, there's nothing the defense is going to be able to do. So. Just wanted to cover that route. That route is a really good route for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Um, I would recommend trying this out in Madden Ultimate Team if you have the re the route running. 90 deep route running and above is what makes this route really, really good this year. So be sure to grab nine, a 90 route running player. If you need help with that, I have um, tips on my YouTube channel about how to make more coins, how to win solos, and how to get these players. But to me... These post routes are really the way to go this year if you're wanting to have a consistent absolute dot against cover two man if they take the safeties away, even if they're shaded coverage 
outside and over top. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't gotten that offensive ebook yet uh, and defensive ebook, you can get both of them in the in the description. It's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. Go ahead and pick that up. I'm telling you right now, you won't regret it. There's a ton of material in there. It's very very in depth in-depth and detail-oriented guide that is designed to give you all the tools that you need to dominate in Madden 21. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next YouTube video coming soon. Coming, in the, coming later today, I'm sorry. Coming later today.